But how is your husband? He's good. He's working. This review is brought to you by Audible. Here we are with Beyond Two Souls, a game that is sure to cause some arguments on the message boards tonight. I went into this not quite sure what to expect, and I came out of it with an entirely new appreciation for games. Ever since I was born, I've been linked to an entity. Beyond Two Souls. It's a name so flowery, only David Cage could have created it. And yet, the game itself is anything but flowery. It's a dark and at times hopeless window into one girl's life, and it's without a doubt one of the most unique experiences of this generation. A stunning display of drama, romance, and horror whose impact will be felt for years to come. Look, I'm totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? Since birth, Jodie Holmes has been followed by a supernatural being named Aiden, an invisible entity with superhuman powers. As her inability to control Aiden begins alienating those around her, Jodie predictably becomes the target of various groups wishing to exploit her for their selfish, destructive purposes. For the majority of her life, she's remained under close observation by scientists, including Nathan Dawkins, a character whose own struggles with life and death become increasingly relevant as the story continues. I can't say much more without ruining the plot, but needless to say, Jodie's life takes some unpredictable turns as she struggles to carve out her own fate under the close watch of those around her. I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. One of the most interesting things about Beyond is the way that it's structured. The story is laid out like a timeline, with each chapter representing an important moment in Jodi's life. The way story elements are introduced through life-changing events rather than long-winded cutscenes or monologues gives a unique perspective that most games are unable or perhaps just unwilling to explore. And the fact that they're told out of sequence keeps you perpetually on your toes, always guessing what's next and never dwelling on any one scene for too long. Well-written dialogue gives an added sense of realism, along with the stunning visuals, which are some of the best I've seen on the PlayStation 3. Every little detail is accounted for, down to the hyper-realistic walking animations, and full-body performance tracking captures the true weight of every emotion. Special acclaim should be given to Ellen Page, whose unforgettable performance as Jodie makes her debut role in video games all the more impressive. It's rare to see a character with such depth of personality and being able to not only observe but influence her transition from child to adult allows you to forge a one-of-a-kind connection. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Tell me where you are. Unsurprisingly, Beyond bears a lot of resemblance to Cage's previous efforts like Heavy Rain. There are conversation options that shake during tense moments and almost everything else is performed via quick time events or some variation thereof. Tiny dots denote items you can interact with, while innocuous actions like climbing a ladder or jumping down from somewhere use the controller's gyroscope in a way that's both urgent and satisfying. As someone who usually hates quick time events in games, which I'm sure you guys know if you saw my Tomb Raider review, I was really, really surprised by how much I enjoyed them here, especially since they do comprise such a large part of the game. There's a fairly simple cover mechanic, along with a combat system that sees players using the analog stick to fight and dodge hits. This is probably the weakest part of the whole game, since it can often be unclear which way you're supposed to move in order to dodge a hit. Thankfully, most combat situations contain more than enough chances to redeem yourself. During certain portions of the game, you'll need to play as Aiden to help Jody out of sticky situations. He can move freely through walls and ceilings, manipulate objects to his will, and even possess other characters, causing them to commit suicide or kill others. All of this is done via quick time events, and most of these sections are presented like puzzles. The fun comes from figuring out what to do and how to do it. It's a more encompassing and arguably weirder expansion of Heavy Rain's already bizarre gameplay system, and yet the fact that it still manages to feel productive and challenging is a testament to how good it actually is. 
The transition from gameplay to story is seamless, and the story is so good that you're never once bored. To stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Reviewing games with branching narratives is always kind of tricky because it's usually impossible to see the immediate effect of your choices, and also, unless you play it 20 different ways, you're not going to be able to see all of the possible outcomes. So from my experience with Beyond, I will just say that most of the big choices in this game seem to come near the end of it, whereas smaller things like conversation options have a much more short-term effect on the story, seeing as how it is still very much a guided experience. You know you're not allowed to leave the yard! Saw the other kids playing it. I just wanted to have some fun. What did you do to that boy? In an effort to widen the game's accessibility, there's also the option to play entirely in co-op, where a second player assumes the role of Aiden. His involvement in the game isn't nearly as extensive as Jody's, but if you'd plan to play with a friend already, then this could be an attractive option for you. No matter how you play it, Beyond Two Souls is an experience you'll want to have over and over again. It's a testament to the ability of games to craft emotional, thought-provoking narratives, and I can only hope it encourages more developers and actors to dip their feet in the water. Beyond Two Souls is a complete experience from start to finish, and one of the last great games of this generation. I give it a five out of five. Sorry, I cut through the bone. If you like books but don't have time to read, then Audible is the solution to your problems. Audible.com offers over 100,000 titles with everything from science fiction to business to young adult, all of which can be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash red3games and you can get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. If you're a Vonnegut fan, I highly recommend checking out The Sirens of Titan, one of my favorite novels of all time that explores issues of human morality under the cloak of space travel. Again, that's audiblepodcast.com slash rev3games. Every sign-up helps support the show and makes you smarter in the process. So there you have it, Beyond Two Souls, easily one of my favorite games of 2013. And it's out today, October 8th, in North America. This is exclusive to the PS3, so if you have one, there is absolutely no excuse not to buy this, unless you hate Ellen Page in which case you are excused. Wrong, but excused. <laughs>